Hello and welcome back. This is Sandeep from Tutorial Brain and believe it or not, this video lesson is going to be very interesting. Before we get started, subscribe to our YouTube channel and click on the notification bell icon. Now, if you see here, I have just created a folder with the name as brackets. So I have created this folder inside the G drive. Now what I will do is I will just go to my brackets and I will just try to open this folder. So you can see that if I just go to file under the file we have an option to open a folder. So this is the option that is open folder or the shortcut is control alt o. So I always recommend my student to remember the shortcuts because they will try to minimize your effort. So if I just give control alt o you see that it has opened this particular folder and if it is not opening this particular folder by any way then you can just go to G drive and then you can just select the particular folder in my case I have this bracket folder so this is my folder and suppose I want to create a file here now there are a number of ways to create a file for example if I just right click here you see that the first way is if I just click on this new file, so if I just click new file, I can just create a file. So let's say if I just give index.html, so it has created a new file, right? And the other way to create a file is you can go to file and inside that we have the first option that is control N, right? So this is the shortcut that is control N or you can just click it here, right? So if I just click here, you can see that I have this file. And let me just save it. So if I just give control S to save this file, I can just save this file as say style.css and let me just save it here. And let me just try to create another file. So this time I'll just give control N. Okay. And I'll just try to save this file. If I just give control S and let me just give the name as say jQuery.js. Right, so I have created one HTML file, one CSS file, and one JavaScript file. Right, so jQuery file is also created. Now, if you notice here, all my files which are currently working files are present under this working file section. Right, now if I just go to file, you see that I can close all the file here or I can close one by one. So suppose I am in this jQuery.js. If I just click close, you notice that that particular file is closed and that will not be shown in this working files. Now say I want to close all the files at once. I can just click on this close all. So notice that all the files are closed now. And let me just open this file for example. And you see that these options that is save, save as and save all are all normal options which are present in most of the code editor. Now one important feature of brackets is this live preview. Okay. So for example, if I just code something here, so let's say I just give you a doc type and let me just give the exclamation mark as well and HTML and let me just code my HTML here. So I just say here for example let me just give body tag and let me just say like welcome to tutorial brain brackets series okay and I'll just give a p tag here and let me just say like this is all about brackets a great code editor now let me just save this file so at this moment if you just see here we have a small dot here that means the file is not saved if you just save the file for example if I just give control s you see that this dot is gone now right that means the file is saved right now if I just click on this live preview so we have this live preview at this end okay here or you can just go to file and click on this live preview and the shortcut is control alt p right so if i just give control alt p you notice that this particular live preview is running now 
and this particular option has now given the output here right now if i do any changes here for example if i just do here some changes what happens is you see that this particular change is reflecting in the browser without me personally saving it so you notice here this dot is still visible that means i have not saved the file yet but still whatever changes i am doing here it is automatically reflecting in this particular browser now let me just do one thing what i'll do is i'll just drag this here this is my browser so if i just add here say if i just add another p tag so if i just say like p tag and if i just say hello how are you you notice whatever changes we have coded here without even saving the file it has automatically reflected in the output right so this is one of the important feature of the brackets and if i just see here this is another drop down here right enable experimental live preview so sometimes what happens is this live preview option suddenly stops working okay now what you can do is there are a lot of ways to fix it so normally what i do is i will just try to enable this experimental live preview and then i'll just try to run live preview if it is working then it is fine if it is not working i'll just again disable it and again i'll run this live preview so that might fix the problem other way to fix this problem is if i just go to debug what i normally do is i'll just reload this bracket without any extensions so once i click on this option this will automatically refresh the brackets code editor now again what i'll do is i'll just try to check this live preview option if it is working then it is fine otherwise what i'll do is i'll just click on this reload with extensions right so i'll click on this and again this might fix the problem so basically what i'm trying to say is that we have this live preview option in brackets right and this is an awesome feature but sometimes even if it is not working then you have to try to debug it or you just have to do some changes in your not exactly changes i mean you have to like you have to just do some trial and error for example just disable this option or just enable it okay or just close the browser and start again so that way it will fix the problem now we have seen a very important feature in brackets which is called live preview and this is the next option which is project settings okay if you just see here you can set the uh, live preview base url okay so this base url you can uh, set here so basically i'm not going to show anything now about this particular feature but this is very important suppose if you're working on php or some uh, back-end programming language then it is better to set this uh, uh, base url so that the code will directly pick from the local server okay so at this moment let me just close it and the last option we have is extension manager here so if i just click here extension manager you see that it will open this extension manager right so this extension manager is the area where you will see all the themes or all the extensions which you can install in brackets or whatever extension which you have installed in brackets so if i just click on themes for example let me just come here and you see that there are a lot of themes right so suppose if i just want to uh, check about this particular theme if you just click on this particular uh, author or if you just click on this more info you'll get a lot of information about this particular theme right and if you like this theme you can even install this theme okay and if i just click on this install button you see that let me just uh, make it big and now if you just see here we have these themes which are already uh, installed actually right so these plugins or extensions are already installed in my particular brackets now to install a particular extension what you can do is you can just search the extension here for example just click on this available so if i just click on this available and let me just search for example if i want to install a particular uh, extension related to html so i can just search for example let's say one very popular extension for html is emmet okay even it will work with css as well so emmet is a very powerful extension it can be used with even uh, other code editor like sublime text notepad plus plus or visual studio code or even uh, atom right so you can see that this is the particular extension right and 
at this moment you are not able to see this box here right that is if you have not installed this particular uh, extension it will show like install right so this particular extension you can see reverse emit there is an option here to install so if you just click on this install if i just click here install it will automatically install this particular extension and if you just close this you can just go to install and you can see that uh, this particular extension is installed right so at this moment i don't want this particular extension so what i can do is i can either disable it or i can remove it at all so let me just remove it because i don't want this particular extension and basically what i have done is i have installed an extension called emit right and this is what i was looking for so it is already installed you can just see that if i just go to install i have this emit suppose you have very big list of extensions which you have installed in your brackets then you can search over here as well so if i just go to install and then if i just search it here you see that emit is showing here right and similarly in the same way you can just go to themes okay and you can install anything so let me just try to install a theme for example say i just want to install this theme that is this particular theme that is first theme so i'll just click on install and this installation is successful right now let me just close this and it is asking me that to update remove or disable the marked extensions bracket will need to reload so let me just click on this okay i'll just save this changes and i'll just try to reload my brackets again now once it will be loaded what i can do is i'll just go to themes yes here under view now you can see that by default brackets will be having two type of themes that is brackets dark and brackets light right and the third one that is this particular theme we have just now installed right so if i just select this particular theme and click on done you see that now we have a dark theme so let me just go back to my themes and i'll just select my brackets light theme okay at this moment right or let me do one thing i'll just go to this themes and let me just select this brackets dark theme right so this is the default brackets dark theme and i have just selected that right so this is how you can start with brackets and before we move forward let me just tell you a few other things as well so here if i just click on this file and suppose if i click on another file and let me just open this style.css as well so you see that all these files are under this working file and here if you just click on this button that is configure working set if you just click here you can see that there are various options to sort the file you can sort the file based on when it was added or based on the name of the file or sort by type and if you just come down so for example if i just open this jquery you notice here that it shows ins ins stand for insert you can see here that it says click to toggle cursor between insert and override and you can see that this is utf8 so this is a type of encoding for example if it is an html file so if i just open an html file mostly it will be utf8 so if you just click here you can see the various encoding options here okay and by default utf8 is selected and the next one here is the type of file for example if i just open this html file you see that this is showing as html file okay and if i just click here you see that brackets are supporting these type of files that is bash c she has c plus plus and so on and by default you can see that for this particular file it has selected this file type as html and if i just open this javascript file that is jquery so if i just open jquery file you see that now it is showing this file type as javascript and the next option we have is this particular tick mark right so this option tells you that there is no problem with the file now suppose if i just type something in this javascript file which does not have any meaning for example it is like an error so if i just save it you see that now it has changed to this particular icon right and if you just bring your cursor here it shows that it has four problems so if i just click here it shows all the problems as well and it shows all the errors and warnings as well 
So there are linters in brackets which provide these errors, hints and warnings. For example, JSLint is providing this these errors. That is, this was used before it was defined. And again, there are some other errors as well. And there is another linters which is called ESLint. Okay, so bracket also has ESLint and this also provides some errors. So this is very good actually in case you are working in JavaScript. So these linters will provide you a set of warning or errors. So while you will be actually working on a JavaScript code and parallelly you will be getting the list of errors, you can just see at that point of time and you can just fix those errors based on the error. Now if I just delete this, let me just save it. And you see that now the error is gone and now it is showing a green tick mark. That means there is no problem with the file. Now if I just open this and you see here that again for HTML it is not showing any problem. And the next one we have is spaces. So if I just click here, you can see that now it has changed to tab size. So this basically tells you about the formatting. So formatting can be either space or tab. And the number of a space and tab you can also set it here. For example, if I just click again, it is showing as spaces and by default it is showing as four, right? So if I just click here, you see that I can just change it to say, if I just change it to let's say, let's say eight. And you see that now the spaces is eight, right? And instead of spaces, I can just change it to tab size. And by default, let me just keep it as spaces itself. And let me just make it as, for example, Four. four looks to be a good so I thought like it is better before we proceed further so stay with me and I'll see you in the next video listen leave a comment below if you have any question I will try to answer it so thanks for watching it make sure you like comment and subscribe take care bye